South Sudan is a huge country. We have 64 different tribes, and some of those tribes, we, we have something called kidnapping, where it's normal for a guy to just, you know, you like a girl and you just go kidnap her, and it's considered marriage. My name is Nadia Tong Ik. I am from South Sudan. Currently, I live in San Antonio, Texas. I'm a mother, I have three kids. My daughter is 18, I have a four-year-old son and a three-year-old. I'm married. My husband's name is Richard, and he's from Kenya. I've been active duty in the Army for the past 11 years. Um, I'm, I'm a nurse by train, so I've been a nurse for 11 years, active duty. Um, but a month ago, I retired, so now I am a stay-home mom, and uh, I love doing that. The girls from Republic of South Sudan, which is Ross Girls Breaking the Silence, um, it's it's the movement that you know we're 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 challenging our norm and practices in our in our within our communities to um, to be part of to be part of the community to be equal to be appreciated and not be treated as objects. So they uh, they took the they took the whole case to Facebook. Um, they took it to Facebook so parents can see it as well. And that's when I got a hold of their, their stories. I woke up one morning and um, I saw a page that were created for just Sudanese women all over the world, so we can share our stories. And um, I listened to their stories. I listened to their you know how they were they were raped by family members, by uncles, by brothers. Um, and some of them never talked about it. This was their first time talking about it. And some had talked about it with their families. Like I said, it was cover and um, cover up. And just listening to their stories broke my heart. And um, I decided to share mine. Um, although mine was not about rape case, um, it was about being forced into arranged marriage here in America. So, um, so I made a video, I made a video I share on the page um, about how I had arranged marriage at 14 in Omaha, Nebraska, and how I felt, I felt alone, I, um, and how it completely changed who I am, um, my relationship with my families. I got a lot of women reaching out to me, calling me, sharing their stories with me, um, telling me what happened to them, and I felt connected to them, and I felt like I need to do something. So I decided to do something, and that's how the Ross Girls Breaking the Silence came about. It's an organization um, for us, the Southern Sudanese women, to just support each other, to, to love on one another, to share our stories in a private group without the rest of our communities knowing about it because the community shame is still there. Um, you know, people are scared. These girls are scared to talk about what happened to them, but they can talk about it to, to each other. They can tell me about it. I had actually two other arranged marriages while I was in Africa. And I was 13 years old when we came here. So I don't even remember how old I was when those two first arranged marriages were done. But I was too young, I can care less. And the lifestyle was, that's all I knew, you know? There was no objection to that. So when we came to America, I learned about dating. I learned about going to school and, you know, being somebody besides just being raised to have kids and be married, because that's that's how Southern Sudanese women were raised to. You know, your success is major by you being married and having kids. That's it. You know, so I learned about other things that I could that I could be capable of going to school, having my own career. So I wanted to do that. Um, 
So when we, when we came here, I found out by accident that I was being arranged to be married to this guy, and it was the guy that came to America like almost five years uh, prior to my family arriving. So it was arranged here. It was arranged in, in Omaha, Nebraska, and um, it went on for, for two years, two and a half years. I was fighting that, and um, it was devastating, you know, because I wanted to be just like any other teenagers, and. Um, I was ridiculed by that because my family felt like I was already become Americanized and I no longer listened to them and um, wanted to abandon my my culture. Um, so it was it was difficult. Ross Girls Breaking the Silent mission statement is to empower women to break their silence about inequalities and traditional norms. Our vision is to have a society where female voices matters. You can support Ross Girls Breaking the Silence by um, uh, volunteering your free time to, to uh, be a therapist. If you have that skills level, you can, you know, you can talk to, to some of these girls. You could, um, you could support us by, by donating monetary um, money. Uh, you can also support us by sharing our videos on social media, getting, getting the attention that the world need to know that these things are happening and they must stop. Um, you can support us. We have a GoFundMe on, on social media going on. It's uh, Ross Girls Breaking the Silence. Uh, you, can, you can donate on that.